Doctors say we should eat more offal to help save the planet. No, we shouldn't. We should not eat meat to help save the planet. That's because I don't eat meat. But I did eat meat, and I used to eat offal when I was a kid. And uh, but people, because basically people don't eat that, do they? They chuck it away, or it ends up in uh, dog mints, or well, it probably ends up in pies and everything. He actually ends up in something. But they're saying here that it goes goes to waste. People should eat more of it because people don't want to eat it now. People just want the finer cuts, don't they? But when I was growing up and we didn't have a lot of money, I was always eating shit like fucking liver. Oh, I can imagine it now. I feel like a cannibal eating uh, liver. You know, now I'm an adult and I know what the liver is. And, you know, like eating an animal's liver. Okay, an animal doesn't drink. You know, it's not a ruined liver by alcohol or anything. But... You just know about its function and everything. It's just weird, anyway. And um, and hearts, lambs' hearts. When I used to get to my nans, used to eat heart, lambs' hearts and pigs' feet and all that kind of stuff. And you might as well eat it if you're going to eat fucking the the rest of it. You might as well eat it. I'm not saying, you know, it's like uh, in uh, is it Finland or oh, is it Greenland or Finland where they eat the sheep's face or you have a sheep's head on the plate with whatever else. You know, it's fucking weird and they eat the eyeballs and everything and you just think, but at the same time, you've killed it and like, you might as well fucking eat its face. You're eating everything else. You know, but uh, it's, the, I mean, the, the main thing is to not eat meat now, isn't it? That's the big drive because it's like uh, climate change or whatever. The young people, that's where they're pushing it anyway. Uh, young kids are going to be, young kids are already, I mean, it's, it's it's punk now or it's fucking anti establishment to to do it even you know a lot of a lot of punk rock and all that they're vegan for the for the sake of just saying fuck the fucking system so and a lot of kids are, are buying into that or going that way and especially then you've got the climate change one so there's no doubt that the drive is to go um meat free in the end or definitely you know it'll get it will just get less and less if anything happens like what's happened in Australia, I mean, that's just ridiculous. A billion animals, they reckon, are going to die uh, in the, the, the fires of Australia. That is just so fucking sad, you know, because, I mean, it's, they've got nothing, you know, they've got no way, they've just got nowhere to go, have they? They've just got no choice but to just sit in it and fucking burn. They've got, they've got nowhere to go. You can't save them, and they're like, it's just coming at them like a, a wall of fire. So, uh it's impossible to get out of the way of that, and uh, I've just you hope it stops sometime soon because um, when you look at Australia, it looks like the whole place is on fucking fire. They'll have nothing left the way it's going. I mean, how can you try and safeguard or get in past the fire to try and safeguard what's on the inside? Yeah, it's horrendous. So uh, damn shame, you know. Um, but it's good for the ones that, you know, people are raising money left, right and centre and uh, a lot of animals are being saved. People are doing their best, so uh, good luck. And hopefully it's, uh, it dies down soon. They need some fucking rain. Pray for some rain over there. Ship some rain. Uh, come on, God. Send some fucking Scientology, anybody, any God, whatever your God is, send some rain to Australia.